Hello everyone, this is Andrew again and welcome to PLC Programming Training Part 11 for Student Intermediate Level. Now let's start. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have one push button and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed, cylinder will extend. If PB1 is released, cylinder will detract. Now let's have our demonstration. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then, after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, let's go to the next exercise. Exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed, the cylinder will extend. If PB2 is pressed, cylinder will retract. Now let's press PB1. Now let's press PB2. And that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Now, let's continue. Let's press PB1. As you can see here, when we press PB1, X0 is activated. And that will cause Y3 to turn on, which is the solenoid. And because there is a latching here, Y3 will not turn off. And the only way to turn it off is by pressing PB2, which is X1. Okay, that's it. Now let's go to the next exercise. Exercise 3. Create a PLS program given the following conditions. You have one push button and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed while the cylinder is at fully retracted position, the cylinder will extend. If the cylinder reaches the fully extended position, it will automatically retract. Now let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now let's try it again. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Now, let's continue. This will be my answer to this problem. Let's press PB1. As you can see here, when you press X0, Whitely will turn on, and because there's a latching, Whitely will not turn off. And as you can see here, even if we press X0, if the cylinder is not at fully retracted position, it will not turn on. And the only way to turn it off is by reaching the fully extended position here. Now let's try it again. Okay, that's it. Now let's go to our next exercise. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed while the cylinder is at fully retracted position, the cylinder will extend. If the cylinder reaches the fully extended position, it will retract after PB2 is pressed. It means on this problem, the requirement to make the cylinder extend is by pressing PB1 and ensuring the cylinder is at fully retracted position. And to make the cylinder retract, you need to press PB2, but you need also to ensure that the cylinder is at fully extended position. Okay, let's have our demonstration. 
And now let's press PB2. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Now let's continue. This will be my answer to this problem. Let's press PB1. As you can see here, when we press PB1, Y play will turn on. And because there's a latching, Y play will not turn off. And the only way to turn it off is by energizing M0. And to energize M0 here, we need to achieve a fully extended position and pressing PB2. And because we are at fully extended position right now, we just need to press PB2. And that's it. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please like and share my YouTube videos and like my Facebook page. Please click see first on our Facebook page to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please comment nice. Please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video. Please type suggestion semicolon and put the suggestion about this video. And if you think that this video needs some improvement, just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video. I will use all of your comment, negative comment, suggestion and improvement so that I can improve all my future videos. Thank you for all the feedbacks and thank you again. See you next time.